today with Pet Perspectives. Joining us is Dr. Norman from Ada Animal Hospital and of course our studio mascot, Rocco, who's all decked out in his Halloween gear. He's a little bucking bronco. He is. He's trying to butt that top. thing off of him. And he's, he truly is. He is. He's like really getting into character here in studio today. Okay, so Dr. Norman, Halloween, a super fun time for yes. us all, right? Yes. But it can also be truly a scary time for our pets. It can, it can, and okay. there can be a lot of little hidden scary things. Yes. So I always like to remind people of that because we want our pets to participate with yeah. us. And so the biggest thing, Halloween candy and treats. I know, okay. I mean, we're all buying candy, we all have it, it's out, our pets are going to find it too. So making sure that they're not getting into chocolate, I think most people know by now, chocolate, mm -hmm. really not good and can be pretty toxic for our pets. Xylitol is a hidden sugar in a lot of candies too, that um, we see a lot of low calorie sugars and treats, and so we wanna make sure that our pets stay out of that. That can cause liver disease, be really, really toxic. And then raisins, I like to remind people of that. Some people try to do that for a little bit more of a healthy snack. Those are pretty bad for our dogs and cats too. So okay. definitely want to keep out of all of that. All right, so not only chalk, like you mentioned, the xylitol raisins, raisins in particular, yes. which mm -hmm. consequently as well, you also don't want to feed your pet grapes. Nope, exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. Yep. We want to make sure we're keeping out of that. Which some families like to use grapes to do like those fun, like little Halloween yeah, trick little things where you get yeah, the snacks yep. and also if you've peeled the skin off the grape and you feel it's supposed to be like a slimy eyeball. <laughs> kind of gross. Keep the pets keep away the from pets that. Keep the pets away from that. Yeah, <laughs> not good for them. Uh, what about costumes though? Yes, right? because I mean, we love to dress. Our, I love to yes. dress my pets up. Rock is always in something. But you want to make sure it's not stressful for them. So think about them and their comfort. Are they still able to move? Mm -hmm. Are they going to try and tear it up and eat parts of the costume that then could get stuck in them? So you don't want to do that. So practice with them too. Also don't have the first night you're putting that costume on be Halloween night when there's a lot of other stressful and scary yes. things. Yeah, okay. What about trick-or-treating with your pet, right? Yeah. We see a little group of kids here right now with, with one of their dogs. Families mm -hmm. sometimes like to include their pets. What about when we're out and about in the community with our pets and other people have brought their pets as well? What, what are some things we need to keep in mind? We want to keep in mind that, you know, we're just being aware of our pets and that okay. we know their limits. Um, if your pet normally gets scared on walks and doesn't like other pets, don't take them out on Halloween. Be okay. respectful for your pet and the other ones around too. And you want to make sure that you're watching what they're getting into. Are they sniffing Halloween decorations while you're walking around? There's scary lights and sounds. That can be really stressful and scary for dogs too. It's a time that we see a lot of pets run away as well. Yes. Because they do. They get scared. You're out on walks. There's some spooky machines. I jump scare at some of yes, them sometimes. Yes, yep. And so you want to make sure that your pet is secured and that definitely have microchips and tags up to date with information in case they get out. Okay, all right, and, and that speaks to, I mean, I imagine some uh, pet owners might be like, oh, I'm gonna take my pet out because they don't do well at home with the doorbell exactly. constantly ringing. But if your pet's already heightened at home, they might be even more in heightened even when you more. take them out. Even more, exactly. So what do you do then in that situation? Um, how do you make your pet comfortable in home? So if there's a spot that you can have, that is, it's a calming spot for them, mm -hmm. a room away from the door, you know, away from the lights and people coming up and knocking and ringing the door, Bell. That can be a calm, quiet place for them. Having their favorite snacks and treats, or of course, always talk to your veterinarian about um, if a mild anxiety medication is appropriate for your pets. Okay. Some it is. It can be a really scary time, and to make yeah. it a peaceful, smooth holiday for them and you and yes. your family, it can be helpful for a lot of our animal friends. And, and you had mentioned too how some of those decorations can scare the pets. You also have to keep yeah. in mind candles, right? Labrador Retrievers, super happy dogs. Uh huh. Those, those swap tails, wagon. That tail. Yep. And then we have a house fire on Halloween. Not fun for us. That. No. No. And same thing with the jack-o'-lanterns. I mean, those battery-operated uh, lights, lights are always probably the better solution they too are. for kids as well. Exactly, right? exactly. Yeah. Especially outside. You have so many people coming and going. Yep. Let's, you know, fire safety, not have the lit candles out. And then also, too, we already talked about pet costumes, but adults, kids were dressing up. There are probably some parts of those costumes that we want to make sure that we're keeping away from exactly, our pets. Exactly, exactly. A lot of our face paints, makeups, glow sticks, those mm -hmm. are a fun thing that dogs like to chew on. It's yes. really enticing. But that's not good for them no. if they break that and swallow that. So just keeping our costumes away from them too making sure we're organized so that our pets aren't getting into anything. Okay, Dr. Norman, I know there's a lot more we could talk about, but if somebody in the, 
it ends up in the unfortunate situation yeah. where their pet does need some medical attention uh, around this holiday season. Where do they go? What should yep. they do? So our website, adaanimal.com, or give us a call, 362-5329. We're always happy to answer questions about pet safety and keeping them safe for Halloween. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Dr. Thank Norman. You. Thank you, Rocco. Again, such a fantastic little studio mascot, yes. little bucking Bronco. <laughs> All right, everyone, stick around, because if you're like Rocco right here and you're gearing